welcome back to Newton Hall in Blackpool, where we are now here after a week-long tournament that has seen 32 of the world's top players whittled down to a final two. It's the Cooperative Funeral Care International Open Final 2015, and it's coming up exclusively live on Sky Sports. And this is who it's between the two best players in the world just now. Both title holders, Alex Marshall, six-time world champion and current world champion against the Scottish International Open champion, Nicky Brett. It's Scotland versus England going toe-to-toe -to -toe in just a couple of minutes. Yes, it's been a really tough week for all the bowlers. 30 gruelling matches have taken place here in Blackpool during the course of the week, and it all come down to the last two. Alex Marshall against Nicky Brett, the two form players in the world at the moment. And one fella that's been watching all the games, indeed commentating on all bar one, and you played in one of them, so he wasn't <laughs> commentating on that one, is David Corkill. Now, Corky, you've seen these guys this week, and, and they've just been in sensational form, haven't they? They have been. I think what's more important to is the fact that these are the two players that have won events this season. We were talking about Nicky Brett, who was so good in Scotland, and Alex was in top form in January to win the World Singles. And the fact that one of them is going to pick up two trophies this year, and potentially one of them could go to number one in the world as well, Yes, Nicky. yes, Nicky's level at the moment. Um, if he loses, Paul Foster will get it on countback effectively, but if he wins, he goes to world number one for next season. Alex Marshall has been to the final here for three years. He won it a couple of years back. He lost to Paul Foster last year back in the final again. He knows how to get to the final here in Blackpool. Yes, he does. He's very comfortable in this rink and he's using new bowls, which is a tremendous achievement in many ways to be so uh, successful with them so early. I thought it would have taken a, a few tournaments to get to grips with them, but he was very, very good right out of the blocks. We can see him over your shoulder there, Corky, and uh, he wasn't looking that comfortable, I have to say. It's always there he is in the corner, Alex Marshall. We can see him in. <laughs> there, just get himself all composed before yeah. the start of this match. But give us a sense of just how um, consistent and, um, and well these two players have been playing, because they put out some big names along the way. Yes, they have. Uh, I think what the important thing is that they're doing simple things right, and, and also tactically they're playing very well. I thought Alex's uh, tactics against Jonathan Ross were superb. He moved the jack, the jack around, he moved the mat around, he shuffled Jonathan around a bit, and in the end he got the just reward. Uh, most people against Jonathan, He's been playing the 26 metre jack length and was playing very well. But Alex found the cracks. He, he found where the weakness was and he exploited it. Yeah, he certainly does. And he's the sort of guy who'll exploit any weakness in any match. It's coming up against Nicky Brett very, very soon indeed. But uh, we keep this man, David Corkill, very busy. Not only has he commentated in all, almost all the matches, he spoke to the two players before this final about half an hour ago. Nicky, another World Bowls Tour final in one season for you. Yeah, obviously, uh, happy to sneak through. It's been a bit of a, you know, some good balls, some scrappy balls, so, but just happy to be in the final. Green seemed to change during your semi-final. It all seemed to get a bit weird, and we were saying that on the, on the commentary that things seemed to be a bit strange on the rink. Did it slow down? Um, it, it probably did a little bit, but uh, I, I just lost the pace, so I don't really know whether it slowed down. I wasn't bowling a good, the same line each bowl, so that makes mm. it different pace, quicker line on the wider one, so just lost the pace a bit. But obviously delighted to get through to yet another final. Yeah, yeah, really happy just to find a way to win, to be honest. Alex, back-to-back -back finals doesn't get much better, does it? Yeah, it's been a happy home for me the last three years. Won it the first year, uh, final last year. I uh, lost to big, my big mate Paul Foster back in the final again, so yeah, very happy. And we've been talking about this as well, the difference between going to Wales and the difference of coming here. And it's very, very strange because it's a bowling club environment yet again, uh, but somehow or other, Blackpool just seems to suit you. Yeah, it has obviously. Uh, I didn't have the best of records you know, in Wales, but uh, it's been a transformation coming to Blackpool the last three years, and I've enjoyed it, good surroundings, and I've played very well on the carpet as well. Yes, I think we've been uh, very impressed the way you've been playing. Uh, again, you've been just getting better each game, and uh, the carpet seems to be playing pretty well. Yes, uh, a slow start. Uh, I played reasonable my first game, played broke my second game. Uh, but didn't play as good today as what I did the previous day, so uh, hopefully I can get my form from the second game and take that into the final, but I'm sure it's going to be a good game anyway. Excellent. We're really looking forward to two of the top players in the world playing against each other in a major final. Good luck, guys. Thanks very much. Yes, we certainly are looking forward to this one. David Corkill, how do you reckon this one will turn out? Well, obviously, with these two players have been getting out of trouble when they've been in trouble. I think the first two goals will be key to the whole thing, to be truthful, Dougie. Um, Whoever gets in first will be the one that wins simply because they get out of jail card, they can both play and play exceptionally well. 
but I reckon this will go all the way. I think it'll be a tie break. And Nicky Brett said beforehand that he's, it's very hard to beat Alex Marshall on any surface at all. He's a hard man to beat. What would be key for Nicky to get in and cause him bits of problem well, early on? Nicky will be doing that. If he's beaten to the jack, he'll attack early and he's very good at it. He's very good at the runners. The also, the thing is he's one of the best guys to pull out a result out of nowhere. He digs deep. He scratches hard. You know, he's one of those players where you sort of think maybe he's going to roll over and never, ever, ever does. So right to the death, he'll be fighting for this win. That's well, going to be fantastic. One of them is going to be a double champion at the end of tonight. Stick right here on Sky Sports 3. The final is coming up. It's Alex Marshall against Nicky Brett. And one of them is going to be picking that up pretty soon. Welcome back to Newton Hall in Blackpool. The waiting is finally over. The two best players in the world just now are just about to go toe-to-toe -to -toe for the International Open title. Let's welcome these players to this arena with Richard Madison. Thank you very much, Doogie. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's bring on your players for the final. He's number four in the world, record six times and reigning world indoor champion. It's Scotland's Alex Tatty Marshall, MBE. And ladies and gentlemen, up against him, he's the number three in the world, over 26 national titles and reigning Scottish International Open champion. It's England's Ginger Ninja, Nick Brett. <laughs> Hand over to commentary with David Corkill and Wayne Ditchfield. Alex Marshall to get things off and running in this final Corporate Funeral Care International Open here at Newton Hall in Blackpool. I think we're in for a treat, David. Two class players, probably playing the best in the world at the moment. Yeah, it's Alex Marshall, hot off the winning the world singles for the sixth time, just a few weeks ago. Great start by Alex, looking for a few more of them throughout. As he's down on that swinging hand. This is uh, 
Nick changed into the green balls and playing down the straight of forehand. Nice straightish hand, but he's got the line with the first ball. Alex preferring to use his swinging balls on the wider side. Trying to guarantee getting back to the jack. Close here. Hurry. Do right. Oh, that's good bowling. First end. Players been sitting waiting for 15 minutes or so just after okay. practice. Well, it's good they're coming out and playing so well. Yes. Nope. Oh. <laughs> that was just a, a bit of a creak there. This just sometimes happens on the indoor surfaces. Alex on the change of hand. Nicky close here. Very close indeed. Oh, he's drawn the number one. Very good ball. Uh, adjustments with every ball. Perfect line each time. Good stuff. Well, not easy to get to. I think he might just arrive on the forehand. Punch the jack across to his own ball. Now, first end. I'm going to start searching for things. Just a little draw on the back. Drop off his own ball. I get second shot, a closer second shot than what he has already. If he hurries, he nearly draws a shot. Yeah, just not quite there. And Great effort. Nick will follow that down to try and get to the jack or rest off the ball for number two. Jack's worth two or three. Got to be worth playing at this stage. Certainly give it a go. Needs to hurry on that line though. Just being a bit careful. So, one to Nick Brett in green. Gets him off and running. for the medium sort of length which is in between Alex's two pref preferable lengths good start by Nicky Jack hi Mike <coughs> this backhand is quite comfortable for both players and Forehand's a good swinging hand as well, so definitely playable. Alex is not sure about this one. I think it's pretty close. <coughs> Can't argue with that. He won't want it back. Might not be shot. Certainly a good ball. Open things up.
just needs to run. Picked the line out beautifully, but didn't push through it. Nice, might be tempted with the forehand now. Yes, he's going right on the four. Nick, he'll just be looking to push his own ball through or just round it. Very close, Nick. <coughs> He's just encouraging it on. Needs to hurry. Not be happy with that, David. No, no, it's uh, dropping short with the second ball is one thing. Dropping short with the third one, it's not clever. Possibly the red. Like there is has a slight favour for the red ball. Ball in here. Very well played. Well, even better that he didn't touch the jack because that keeps the red ball at the front as a possible second. Nick might have to change here, see what he does. Well, he's still down in the backhand, actually, a little touch on his own ball or drift past. Just a little movement. Trying to draw it on the forehand, like you said. Well, it's guaranteed on the forehand in terms of getting back to it, but uh, the backhand was, was available as well. Now he's looking for the big dip. Might just have pushed it. Mm, I think he would have expected that to come back more. I certainly did. He's not using as big a bias ball as, as Alex is, so that's the only reason why. Alex will be searching for another here. Get himself in front. Just wants to hurry. Yes, it's toiling a little bit. Not quite there. One on the measure. Over the red. Yes, yeah, so it didn't go down very far in the red one, so uh, it looks good for red. Two red. Big swing now, right down to the jack. Oh, he likes that hand. Not bad about it. Good start it. Nick, on the narrow side. 
we call it the narrower side simply because it's just not as big a swing as the other side but it's actually on a, when the ring's playing reasonably quick and it appears to be today it swings back quite well that's a great ball it's a sitting duck though david well jack's frame but uh alex B is looking to turn the jack or rest the ball off a little bit of extra weight to guarantee the length he's pushing it forward Needs to hurry on that line. It'll go quick now. Yeah, but I think that's why he was... I think he realised he hadn't given it the little bit of extra to get to it. He'll be on the same line next time. Unless Nicky changes things. Mm, good again. Good protector. Same line, extra couple of feet. Good height. It's on its way. Looking for the jack. Oh, he's got the ball. Oh, that's, that's a great ball. ball. Made, made two. Absolutely perfect weight. Didn't even go for the trail. Just guaranteed the length. Nicky following him down. Yeah, nice. A little more pace than Alex. Wasting no time. Great effort here. Oh, he's got the split. Both balls. Oh, yes. Good oh. result. Very well played ball. Yeah. As soon as he was getting the split, it was almost a s guaranteed to get the shot. Really good ball there. Alex, not a lot of position to work with on this one. He's got a good second. Sure, how he's even going to get the shot out of this. There's nothing off here, David. No. Well, he's his own ball in the forehand, but uh, that's certainly not going to be easy to get to. Yep, through the gap of the, the green ones to try and get to his own ball. Trying hard for it. Got the green one. We played okay. that with good effort. Really good weight. He knew if he got the green ball with that weight, he was pushing it all the way through. Nicky might be tempted to arrive just over the draw. Well, it depends on the angle of where the jack's going. Can't see him giving the shot away the way it sits at the moment. I think he's just gone for the draw though, David. Yep, trying to sneak in for the double. Close, just needs to hurry. Good effort. <laughs> Final, of course, moves to 11 ends. Needs set. Three end tie break. So potential 25 ends in a match as we see this bowl of Alex Marshall's coming in. Sorry, if, uh, yep, if Nick Brett after it. First ball was Alex, Nick was the second. <coughs> so 25 ends to separate these two players, and that's it's a good, solid singles game, 25 ends. Both playing a similar length at the moment, which is interesting. Nobody opting for a change yet. Good. Well, they're finding their first balls, aren't they? Yes. Starts off very well. Nicky again, just pushing this one forward. I don't think there's a lot wrong with it. Certainly won't want that one back, David. No, nope. he'd be a happy bunny with that one. 
Well, both players getting on with this match. They're both playing well. Alex plays the game at a normal pace, not, not too slow, not too fast. That's what the vast majority of players would play. Nick is on the fast side. He barely waits for the opposition's ball to stop forward movement before he's got the ball away. Doesn't make it easy for us to get back from a ball stopping to see his delivery. I don't think he's up with this. Mm. He'll not be happy with that. Not actually finished too bad there. Um, Alex, conscious of the fact that he needs to get the ball and not the jack here. It's a nice steady draw on this backhand. He has to be a touch careful here. He'd be looking to turn the jack, but he didn't want to turn it too far into the open. Not sent it. I think Alex will take a wee chance here. Try and get the edge of the green ball. Even getting a split between the green and the red would be good. Try and force it out. He gets to the jack, it's maybe going to cost him one more shot, but I think it's worth it. I think there's a thin edge sticking out, David. No, going stronger. He's underneath. Oh, he's underneath now. What's going to happen? Can to get results off the short ball? Just a one. No real damage done. Very solid start by both players here, as we expect in a final. There's no mistake in the quality of this match. <laughs> yep, done again. Good protector as well. He must be going deep on this line. Well, he's obviously thinking Alex is going to drive this. I'm not sure if he is, but um, single ball targets never easy. Good for the respot there, Nicky. 
I think you might just try and draw this off. Well, it's just the way the ball's sitting, it looks better to draw, draw it off. I always remember Nicky as well, he didn't, didn't want to make it a bigger target, but oh, he's, uh, not up. he's dropped this one. Wasted a ball there. Nicky will just draw another one in. Possibly the forehand. Well, that's his favourite side at this direction. Needs to work to get back. No, not in, but a valuable ball where it's finished. In the two reds. Doesn't like it, David. Well, it has to be on weight, well, and anything else, because the line looks pretty good. He knew out of the hand that it was just a bit over the weight. Well, next having a look at it. Too definite. Two shots, Nicky Brown. Good double at this stage. Just creating a gap between them two. He'll be happy with that, will Nicky? Yes, and those were his first two balls. As I was saying before, the, the key to success in singles is the first two balls, no doubt about it, but... That's how you get out of trouble in this rink. Consensus is that you can get out of trouble a lot easier than you can on the portable rink. It's just playing a little bit grippier. It's not just as quick. It doesn't punish as much either. So it's a, quite a kind rink to play on. Another good starting ball by Nicky. Very consistent. Alex has turned his back on this. Yep. No point in looking at one that's not good. At least he knew it wasn't good. So when you start looking at those balls and continue to watch them, when you know you're not there, it's fine. I've run a good few of them up in my time, David. Uh, you end up short or through, and people say, why on earth was he chasing that one? <laughs> Next one won't be short. Better here. Just wants to hurry. Yeah, that's good. Possible shot ball. Well, he'd have played the backhand to the green ones, but changed to the forehand. Had to find new line, new weight. That's why I thought he would have stuck to the back, but probably because he felt that it was close to the first one and it wasn't, so. Change of a hand early doesn't do any harm. Nicky wants to hurry. Any touch right. on the jack? Not sent it. Going for the inside balls. Yep, on the backhand. Underneath the line. Oh, have you got enough weight to hold this? It's very close. Oh, good ball. Said it was lovely weight, I have to say. Delightful weight. Nicky's very good at that sort of ball, David. Uh, could have played it much stronger, but uh, kept it very controlled. Two green. Used his own balls that were in the head. 
important bull here for Alex to draw this. Doesn't want to go 7 2 down. Long way to go, of course, to the 11 ends. And draw the back end, sit Nicky's back bowl. Very close. Oh, has he gotten back in time? Oh, not quite. Just a touch overplayed. Another double. <coughs> Two. Two, shots. Two shots, Nicky Brown. Good conversion shot by Nicky. Said it well. I think that's what you've got to do early on with Alex, if you get the chance. Just ruffle him up a little bit. Stop, Nicky was away, off and running. Hardly time to reset the clock. Interesting, Alex moved from the back on onto the forehand. That's been Nicky's hand this match so far. One red. Nicky using pull balls, we call them, just the balls that are supplied for. WBT by the manufacturers. Players can lift them and use them. Just lifted a set. Tiger 2s they are, we're hence like Tiger 2, but it seemed to me that they were playing a bit more like a Tiger Pro, which is a slightly stronger bias on them than Tiger 2. Important for Nicky to get one in. Doesn't want to be dropping a three. It's all down to wait now. Needs to hurry. Needs to hurry. Oh, it's a great effort. Oh, yes. A little touch was a bonus. Got him right onto the line. Alex Marshall using the touch arrow in. ball. Yeah, a very strong, biased arrow Fire ball. ball behind, please. Two inches. Just a draw for Alex, no back position. Even better if he can get to the jack. I think he's underneath. <coughs> Nicky will probably stay away from this, David. Well, he's got the back position, but he, to utilise it, it probably had to be the last ball of the end. And what he's more or less saying now, if you just draw it, that's fine, no problem, but if you're a bit heavy, it could cost you more shots. I think he worked out that the jack was going to bounce. That would be the only reason Alex played that. One shot, Nicky Brett. Another flick on the edge of the green ball, and that wasn't easy. 
surprised he played that really, David. Well, a couple of chances, you know, the edge of the ball out was good, but he probably worked out that day. The Jack was going back, it was maybe stopping on Nicky's ball and bouncing back up again. He was conscious of the fact he didn't want to lose another shot, but 8 2. Four ends to go. Still not safe. But certainly a very healthy position to be in. Nicky looking very good out there at the moment. Happy out of hand. Looks like it might have gone a touch quicker out there again, David. Well, he certainly pushed through it. <laughs> After ring changes pace during a match, it makes life very difficult for the players. <laughs> Can happen, lots of reasons for it. Well, over correction. Up. Yeah. That's the danger, you know, you try and take a, a yard or a metre off and you drop so a metre and a half down and it's so easy to do. Alex must get one in here. We're so used to seeing balls all around the jack. There's the number Not one now. now. The ball. Uh, Nicky will worry too much about one red. I think he'll just draw to this. He can just draw as close as he can. Get a good second. Yeah. Just pushing it forward a little bit. Needs to hurry. opportunity for Alex to pick up a double here. Mistake. Double the score, two to four. Three ends to go, eight four. He was definitely in need to score there. Longer jack.
marks down the green are set at one meter, so one meter for Alex to put on to get very close to the jack. No players really nailing the length as such here, David. No, it's just gone off a little bit that way. Uh, there will be a change in the atmosphere out there. Steady, steady. Get back. Not bad there. Yep, good ball. One red. Good position. Clarence Nicky's last one fast, please, Mike. The gap is seven inches. Could be tempted to switch now with that ball getting there. Well, an arriving draw, turn the jack for the three. Just guarantee the length to the jack. Needs to hurry on that line though. Oh, he needs an edge, that's what he needs. There's the edge. Ooh. Well, it's kept it in there. Alex, draw through this gap for another. Well, again, just needs an edge. And there it is. Want the jack, though. Oh. oh, that's a result. Is it ever? If he had missed the ball, he was probably going to draw another shot. Coming in behind the jack is a bonus. So, as Nicky's ball did when it came up as well. Now he's going to be attacking this. The respawn position looks good for Green. Right down at it. Controlled weight. Try and make the connection. Will he stand up in time? I think he got might just hang on. Got a hurry. No, he's got the jack. It. He's got well it. Played. He wants that to stay in the ditch. And it has. Turned it in from one, well, two down to three up, by the looks of it. Three shots, Nicky Oh, massive turnover. That secures the set. So we've got two more ends to go. But it's seven up. So uh, Alex needs to score a minimum three shots this end to keep it going for the last end of the set. That was a big turnover. 8-6, 11-4, all in the mix at 8-6 and 11-4. Nicky knows they just keep this head nice and tight. Don't lose any more than two shots. He really is good at his runners, is Nicky. Played that well, played a lovely weight. It's not going to help. Oh, it's it could be much around. closer here, though. Just pushed it again. Well, there's space. Oh, dear. Meter away. Hmm. 
Grappy by both players here, David. I think, I think he's doing the right thing here. Moving onto the forehand, but he might need two goals to deliver it. That's a wise move. He doesn't want to kick into one of the short red ones. Very wide, though. Well, anything within half a yard seems to be good enough, but he's pushed this through. Oh, dear. Whoa. What is going on here? Possibly two green. Two green? Goodness me. Shake the head. I can almost hear Rover getting ready in the kennel. Let me out, I'll round them up. Oh, both players moving on to the forehand. See what Alex does with this jack. Any touch so on it? Move it? Oh, that won't help him. Oh, that's unlucky. That kills it now. The one time he didn't want to hit the jack, he picks it up. Nick, he'll just try and draw it off. If he'd have missed it, he had a chance. This is different now. He's nearly got down to the jack here, David. Yes, yeah, so well, he's going to absolutely. Yeah, what a he's great ball that is. Killed the head off completely. Alex took all pressure off there, Nicky. Produced the wonders. Alex not even bothering. No, just, just trying to draw it. Practice game. He knows what the, the form is. A little practice shot. One to green. Good solid set there by Nicky. Yes, indeed. It was a, a set that looked like it was going to be very close after the first couple of ends. It was 2 1, and then 2 all, and then 3 2. But then Nick Brett took off with a 2 2 single, lost a 2, picked up a 3, all over 12 shots to 4. Well, a six times world champion back to the wall. Can he get back? We'll find out in the second set. Oh, welcome back to the second set when Alex Marshall. The scoreline doesn't really reflect the set. At eight ends, Alex Marshall was lying two shots to go 8-6 behind, only two shots between the two players, but Nick Brett played a wonderful conversion shot. Turned the jack through for three. So instead of it being very close, they picked up three for 11-4. That more or less closed the set down. Alex will just be looking to up a gear here though. He wasn't at his best there in the first set. So a single on the 
The last end from Nick Britt meant that we didn't have to play the last end, so it's 12 4. Just a, a natural break there. A few people just nipping out of the arena, now coming back. That uh, creates a little bit of a disturbance, but it won't take long for everyone to get settled. Full house here at Newton Hall. Nick will be looking for something close here. <coughs> Needs to stop though. My four feet, Mike. No, uh, no, guess you are. Didn't look happy again with that. Turns Turn back, back on. Yeah, once once a player turns it back on it, you sort of realise that. So they're not happy about something. It must be the weight because the line looks good and he's making centre rink. Yep, near enough. Chatty just looking a little bit unsettled here today. Started off well. To say he played a really good ball and got into that position of going 8 6, but Nicky Brett's conversion shot was just the difference in the first one. That was a really good shot to play with perfect weight. Played a couple of those actually in the match so far that have been exceptional. Some no new back position for Alex, and this is not going to be easy to get at. I'm just wondering, can I get down the back and punch both balls out, or well, might not be able to get back? That's where the difficulty is. Can he generate the, the power that he needs to get back? Solid ball. I'll certainly look at it. Front red ball will hamper him a little bit. If we can see it. Well, he can. He can get down in the back, can Ball on the ball. Might just be able to make the two. He hits it half on the high side. One will go out, the other will stay. Damage limitation on the backhand. I don't think he's got much else on, David, to be no. honest. No, he has to try and, uh, try and disturb this. Normally very good at this type of shot. Needs to hurry though on that line. Does dip very quickly. Playing with careful weight. Another very solid start there by Nicky. Another great start by Nicky. He really is looking very good today. Stepped up from the semi final. It was a bit of a scrappy game. When somebody's drawing like that, it's very hard to beat them, Dave. Well, first of all, try and get in there and match them. Oh. 
course, I think there was only really two particular bowls in the first set that separated the players. That's why the scoreline at 12-4 doesn't really reflect it. Just two good runners by Nick. Made a massive difference. Needs to hurry. Oh, another great ball. She's watching this. Must think he's close. Yep, and he was right. to beat so a good second is required he's got that so he's gone deep with this one to leave anything on the wing here. That's not finished in a bad spot, David. I think that's actually going to make up Nick's mind. Just not sure if that plant is absolutely guaranteed to hit the red ball. Oh. If it is, then he can play a couple of yards into it with good weight. He has to be careful here, David. Both them green balls might go out clean. Well, that's, that's what I'm saying. I'm not, I'm not sure from the angle that we can see. They're guaranteed to hit it. If they are guaranteed to hit it, and Nick can tell better than we can, he'll play the backhand with a bit of weight. If they're not... You well, might just try and draw it on the forehand and yeah. sit, the, sit the ball down. That was the other thing. You know, If they're not guaranteed to hit it, then he has to draw it. Nothing too rash at this stage. He's just pushed it. Well, I reckon with that weight, he was actually playing for that plant. Not easy for Alex to make the, the spare shot. Under the line. Actually, the line was good. Just needed a little bit more weight. Doesn't look too happy when he played that jack. I Obviously not sure what he's aiming for, but uh, has he made it in terms of distance? See the first big change of the game, David. Uh, inkling that he reckoned he wasn't there with that jack. Just made it, minimum distance 23. Good at this short jack line. Nicky on a lot narrower line. Very close though. Matched it with his first one.
Nice to hurry. Great effort. Well, it was good no matter what he played there. As soon as it uh, got within a few inches of the jack, it was always going to be a very handy ball. Nicky just looking to get in between Alex's two here for another. Not finished bad there, though. How does Nicky's pass the jack, please? The jack is two and a half inches. Balls all around this. Any touch on the green would have been good. Oh. Nicky not really got a lot of options. No, no, he has to be careful here, but he's uh, playing the right shot on the backhand. Any disturbance on the jack, that's got a chance of picking it up. It's a good ball. Very controlled weight, I think, by Alex here, just to try and turn the jack around the corner. Yep, just trying to get down off the line. A short jack distance, that's got a bit of work to do. He's watching it. I think it just needs to get back a bit. Oh, close, very, very close. That's unlucky, that, David. Yeah, so he played that with beautiful weight, just to try and trail the jack for three. But not a lot of damage done with a single. And not an easy one to get a spare either. Look at all those balls all around the jack. It's really good quality stuff. No, and Nicky, he'll try and get another one in there. Doesn't want to sit off the red back onto the jack though. Might just not get back from there. Played it safe. Yep, kept it out in the high side. Happy to take a single. Long, long way to go yet. It ends 3 1. So, 13 ends played in the first, just over an hour. That's uh, pretty good going, David. Yep, swift enough, I would suggest. Players are certainly not messing around. I appreciate the shot clock's in there, but they're not using a lot of those timeouts. Nicky watching this come down. Needs to hurry. One red. Oh, Alex. There's been too many opportunities with Nicky. Must get another here. Right after this, turn the jack around the corner. Will I a couple? Start asking Nicky a few questions in this set. <coughs> nice looking track for. Getting back to the jack. This is good. Oh yes, very good. Now he might go for them. This is a whole lot different because Nicky knows that if he misses this on the runner, he could be in a heap of trouble. 
He's close, David. He is. Depends on the angle this goes. Oh, he's got the split. That's the best result. Does he ever miss? Well, he does, actually. Yes, I've uh, played against him in matches at international level where he's uh, definitely missed. But over the last two seasons in particular, he's been very, very accurate with those shots. I think the important thing is this particular rink, because it's a club rink, it lends itself to his game even more. The portable rink, well, it's a whole lot harder to play those. Certainly plays them well here. Yeah, very wide. Looking good. Gives Nicky a bit of room. He'll be looking to draw it. I'm saying it needs to hurry. It's got a bit of work to do, this one. Dropping short. Well. Big chance for Alex here to level the score. Yes, I would say so. Number two coming in. Yep. I think that is a, a bit of a gift on the second one. We probably would have been expecting to try and draw for shot. Still, four hands, three, three. Just bringing the mat up, changing the lines. Looking for a new tactic to disturb Nicky. Not found it though. Well, four feet on Alex's last one, he'll not be too far away. Certainly appeared to give that one a bit more of a push. Just underneath the line again, David. Yes, needs a clear road on the inside. Got it. That'll do for shot. Might just force Nicky to swap to his unfavoured hand. That looks like a nice line to be coming in off. Looks a nice pace as well. Yep, good ball, Nicky. Pretty well hidden as well. From behind this front green one. Alex just come in to have a look at the angles. Might just be able to draw around his own ball on the forehand, David. 
Well, it's viable. I shouldn't talk about that, but it's uh, it's a viable shot. But uh, hitting his own ball in is also good. It's just not nice and clean, really. You know, it's 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 not an easy shot to play. Ball onto ball. If he was to attack, looks like he's just drawing on the forehand. Coming this way, forehand has a tendency to hold off, but he has got a big swinging ball. Needs to hurry on that line. Well, if he does, he might get his own ball. It's nice and solid. Mm. Chance for Nicky now. This Not is a real. Ease, yep. This is a real good chance for Nick to pop one in there. Pushed it a touch. That's a missed chance. Missed chance there for Nicky because drop another one in there for two. <laughs> Pressure's on Alex if he misses. Nick's in for a three. As it is, might be tempted this in the backhand to punch the ball. So you that or a draw on the forehand. He had the right line. He's yeah. changing hand. He's on the backhand trying to punch that out. Not easy ball to play though, David. That. Nope. No, nope, not at all. I don't think he's here. Yeah, that's the weight. The line was good. That's what's saying about Nick's ball getting in for the second shot. Now this is a good spare shot opportunity in a match like this. You really want to be taking these. Certainly fancy him to get one. to hurry on that line. Oh, he's missed a chance. Can he get through the gap? Uh, didn't have to wait. Well, that was a chance. That should have been a three. <laughs> Bit touchy out there. Yep, absolutely. As in a bit nervy, as opposed to anything that's between the two players, but both having a chat about things. It's um, a mixture of some good balls and quite loose ones at the moment, by their standards. Again. Needs the ball. Just waving this to get across. Oh, is that the gap? What's the gap with Nicky's back ball, please, Mike? Five inches. Close here. Just Needs to hurry. Yeah, it's a perfect line. Still another one for Nick to try and close down this head if he can. He 
They certainly look to give that one a bit of a, a push. Out on a wide line, swinging hand. Here it comes. Number three. Mm, he's left it on the wing. Definite shoulder for Alex to arrive at. If he wishes to, his backhand's also available. I don't think it'd be short. No. Nope. Chance both sides. He's only on a draw line, though. No. I have to say, I thought he'd been a bit more aggressive at it, but uh, it's a really good effort. Still could be three though. Not a lot of options. Especially if Nicky closes it down. Two green. Two green. I could see Nicky going back onto the backhand again here. Trying to get a little touch in the jack to make the four. Yeah. Moving around side to side is never ideal, but circumstances sometimes force it upon you. He certainly doesn't want to bring the jack out, though. This needs to do a bit of work. Yeah. Better head of balls, though. It depends which green is there. Alex might be tempted with a forehand, ball on the ball. Danger with that is if he gets a front plant, this red one will fly through the gap, cost him an extra shot. I think he'll just draw it. Try and get scores level again. Certainly if he's on the backhand to uh, try and use the wing ball on the draw. Well, he needs a foot on his last. Mm. Yeah, it's good. It'll come Very back. Good effort. Very quick now. Well, if that ball wasn't in, he managed to move it across the carpet an inch or two. Could be in now. Two shots, Nicky oh, Just a two. <laughs> Nicky just playing better with his front two balls. As you said earlier, David. Well, that's usually the key to success. Not always. The player starts to move them around. But uh, it's a very aggressive game if you keep running at short board. Balls that are in the head. What he's really doing here is Alex needs to start to get in with his first two balls. Score is 6-3 after six ends. Five ends to go. <coughs> Plenty of time for Alex Marshall to get back into this. He's only three behind. That's only one end, effectively. Here. Oh, very so, very much so. Goodness me. Not like Nicky. Nope. No, he's usually much more controlled than that. Just a shake of the head. <laughs> Alex looking good again. to hurry. Uh, 
do yours. That's it. A second shot. The second shot. One in the right. So Miss Jones, David. Uh, well, four hundred off for Nick. Can it stop? It'll drop on the ball, but uh, still carrying a little bit. This is a really good chance for nice to pick up a double. Certainly on a good line. How's his pace? Looks good. Yep, that'll do. That'll do for the double. Yeah, well, you're not going to get too many opportunities for that sort of space. Six five, four ounce to go. It's all in the mix this one. Get out of trouble, Bulls have just slowed down a little bit in the second set. That's right, David. A few scrappy balls just creeping in. Don't exactly know the reason for that yet. Alex just getting disturbed there. Give somebody the stare then, David. Yeah, it's just because there'll be a disturbance, but uh, unfortunately, it's all part of it. It doesn't help the players, though. It's hard to keep a crowd quiet and still, and never easy. But uh, players do do their best to walk away and get themselves reorganized to play again. Important, Alex gets one in here. <coughs> oh dear, there's something's going on back there and Alex is getting annoyed about it. Has to 
Settle it again. They'll stop the shot clock on that. Something's happening that uh, there's movement around and it just catches your eye on delivery. It happens in the... Uh, Certainly wasn't happy though. Nope. Played a good ball after it. Yep, played a good ball. I think your crown guys are... When you play the crown, you're a lot better by things like that. You just seem to see nothing get on with it. But it's it's different out there because it's a single rink. Yeah, in our game, we've got balls crossing in front of you and everything in, in our game and a lot of people on the green at the same time. So you get used to things like that. But obviously, I know through playing indoor, any movement even puts me off indoor. Completely different game. Yeah, I mean, internationals, it's six rinks going. There's cheering and people jumping about all over the place and, and you play through it. But because it's a single rink and, and everything is so quiet, any sort of disturbance is very, it's, it's almost magnified. That's the problem. And of course, if, uh, if it catches your line, your eye line, you're absolutely stuffed with it. You can hear a pin drop out there at times. Yeah, absolutely. Two good balls. I think Mark attempted with the runner down here. Yeah. Split both balls away. Tell you what, if it put him off, he might want to do it every hand. There's two good balls in there. I don't think he'll tell you that though, David. No, I know he won't, he won't. Nor should he. Oh, that's wide. And he knows it. Oh, it's wide out of the hand. That was a chance because Jack back there was worth three. First runner he's missed, I think. Not like Nicky. That was a costly one, that. Yeah, Nick's really annoyed at himself there because he would have seen that as being a fairly standard one, but see, Alex just he played that ball and he was looking around the on the way as he walked up, but he played it very well. That's the key to it. He didn't allow it to put him off. Drew the good shot, and that stayed all the way through. And he added another with the, the last ball, so. Could have an interesting last three ends here, David. Mm. I always relate to the Bulls arenas very much like a an arena where you play snooker as well, you know, it's uh, movement, crisp packets being opened, sweetie packets being opened, anything at all can just disturb you. In my opinion, David, it's just too quiet. Yes, if there was a slight background noise, you wouldn't hear anything. But movement can't stop that. Normal service resumed for Nicky. Give himself a telling off, and it certainly worked. Yes, that was a big chance the last end. That was a bit like the previous set when he, he converted two down to three up. That was a chance to do the same thing, and he missed it. Good to see a little bit of motion from the players at time to time, though, David. Oh, yes, good ball here. Good ball to make it open. Nicky will be looking to score two out of the last three ends.
to get back to the red ball. Certainly trying. Oh, he's framed it. Framed the jag. It's a double, but he's. Oh, he'll not be happy with that. Shoulder both sides now, and he just has to hope that Alex doesn't play this. But we fully expect him to be very, very close. Certainly be looking to turn that jack away for two. It'll look a big target from down there. Yep. On It'd a good line for it. Be very close with this. Very, very close. Needs to hurry for the jack though. Oh, that's all. Big let off for Nicky. Looked good all the way, but needed an extra foot of running to carry it. Chance for Nick to pick up a two or three. Not an easy spare, I have to say, but uh, a very valuable one if he can make it. Going to get wrecked off his own. Mm. Unlucky he didn't get it back. That's not going to count. One shot, Nicky it up again. 7 all. <coughs> well. Nice and Nicky Brett picking up a four this end, but looks like we're going to go all the way. Yeah, we've still got a big chance of a tie break in this match. Now, I wouldn't have said Alex deserves to get beat 2 0. <laughs> Certainly deserves Last something out of this set so far. Yeah, it's nothing between the two players. Can Nicky get back to this jack? Very good effort. The good thing is the umpires are very good about stopping the shot clock in that situation and uh, very much uh, aware of anything that's going on in the arena. They certainly try to be as fair as they can. Certainly affected Alex there. And Nick, him with a chance here, turn the jack around the corner. Alex really does not look very happy out there. Now then, Nick needs to get back. Mm, he's just over it. Yep. Oh, he's got the jack. That's a fantastic nice ball. I didn't think he was getting back in time. Those balls are not big swinging balls by any means. Two green. Two green. Massive end. Massive end, this. Alex needs to do something with this one. Oh, 
Yep. Going for the disturbance. Now, what's the connection Needs like on hurry. his front one? Needs to hurry. Yeah, I thought that was just going to wreck him. No, back ball's there. Next line, two. That would mean that Alex needs a three in the last end. Draw to his own back ball. Sit down for three. Not sure if he'll bother. Not well, sure if he'll bother. He might be looking at the re-spot near Alex's yeah, ball. I think so. Um. He certainly won't want to widen the target, David. No, I'm just trying to see what could happen here. Two green balls could possibly go out. It wouldn't be easy for that to happen. But there's probably more of a chance of the jack moving. Um. Yeah, I think I think a respot re cover would be good. I really think that. No. I agree with you, David. Don't make it any bigger than what it already is. If he's going the backhand, he's drawing for one. Wow. Well, it's interesting. Unless he's trying to block it. I think he's going close. Well, Nick. Might be a mistake, this. Needs a little tap on his own ball. That's what he's looking for. A little touch on that. Hmm. Well, I'm not sure if that's helped. Still got the back ball of Alex's. A ball on the jack will push her through, surely. Alex knows that if his own ball goes out and nothing stays in, he could lose a, a three or a four. Don't think he's got any choice but to hit this and, and hope to get a good result. So as the, the clock goes down, the player indicates he's taking a time out. If he doesn't indicate, and sometimes it's just a nod, that's enough to the to the umpire. Um, but if he doesn't do it, he loses the ball whenever the buzzer goes off. Alex is going to use another timeout on this. You know, it's uh, this is effectively a, a ball which really keeps him in the championship in many ways. We. It's certainly not uh, a given that he'll not get a three in the next end if he misses it, but it's certainly not going to be easy. Nope, not using another timeout, but he's going to have to come into this with weight. Wow. Is he trying to draw the shot? Goodness me. It's going to be an amazing shot if he does. I think he's just pushed it. Yeah, well, I can't blame him because he was trying to make sure he was arriving. I think what's happened there is he's been worried about his own ball disappearing. Certainly, David. He could have quite easily punched that out. That was the concern. Two to green. He was very, very worried about his own ball going out, and that's the only thing that, uh, that could be the case there. Nicky in a very good position now. Well... Found a very good end there. I think Alex found himself in a horrible position of he couldn't really attack it. I thought he might have just taken a risk, but there's always a chance of getting the three in the next end. So nine seven. Seven, ten hands played. Good starter. Alex just getting put off again. Needs to beat this first ball.
problem for Alex is that he has to make sure that everything he plays here is at least up to the jack or beyond. Has to try and develop a situation of getting a three. In the meantime, Nick will be drawing close to the first two. He doesn't like this one. Oh, he's dropped short, that's probably why. That's the last place he wanted to be. Anything through the jack was good, because then he could drive his way out of trouble. This is where the nerves start kicking in, David. Mm, absolutely. First pulls a foot away, and Alex can put three inside that. Both players will be very tense out there. Is he up? Well, this is another title, and just as important for Nick if he wins this match and he's on the edge of winning it, he goes to number one for next year on the world rankings. Needs another one in the head. Alex stays at number three, no matter what. Oh, this is good. This is the one he wanted. And so the drop down it has, well, the, the two balls will actually disappear. The way oh. they're sitting. Alex might be tempted, David. I think he should be. Either do it with this one, or leave it to the last. He's playing the forehand, which is making me think he's yeah. just drawing. No, he's going for the two balls. <coughs> yeah, going for the two balls. Now, what sort of connection will he get? He's very close. Got them, surely. Oh, yes. And not only that, but stayed in perfectly. And now he's lying three shots. Excellent. Nicky was desperately unlucky where he finished to offer up that chance, but he played that with perfect weight. Look how much his own ball ran through. That's the weight control that you need. Needs a good second. It's not only needs a good second or a good third, but no matter where he puts it, Nicky Britt, Alex will be after it. Possibly off the backhand he could hide it. He'll, try, he'll play the forehand. Yeah. This is preferred side in this direction. Now, how well has he played this? If he's heavy, he's in trouble. It's in the open, though. I can see Alex playing that off in the backhand. The chance in the forehand is if he uses the ball and squeezes the jack across. This is a really good chance for Alex to win this set. A really good chance. Jack squeeze across. Ball out. He's got to go for it. Oh, has to go for it. Uh, what he's looking at is, is he going to play the ball out clean? That's what he's looking at. His only danger is if he gets the edge of Nicky's ball and across, puts the jack across, Nicky's one over there. Depends how far it goes. Need to see that other green ball. See how far away it is. There, we can see it now. Can't afford to squeeze it out too far. I'm beginning to think that he's got to play this on the backhand and run the ball off. He certainly has, David. It looks the bigger percentage. Yeah. If he plays the backhand, runs the ball off, he's got a natural angle to take himself away from the, the head. The forehand runner brings you into the jack. You have to be careful of that. He can play at any sort of pace. No, I'll tell you what. You want any man down there to play this shot? This is the boy you want. Mm, is he Close. just going under? Just underneath. Oh, it's just swung away. One shot to red. Nicky Brett's title. Well played, Nicky Brett. Uh, we can't argue with that. It was a very, very good game. Alex probably did enough to justify going into a tie break because there was very little between these two players. Second set, Alex fought hard. 6-3 down, 7-all. Still fought all the way through and was one ball away from forcing a tie break. But it's Nicky Brett who's the International Open winner for 2015.
Well, what an incredibly tense final here at Newton Hall in Blackpool. Nikki Brett has beaten the six-time world champion Alex Marshall to become the International Open champion 2015. Let's get straight to the presentation. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce your presentation party. Robert Kearsley, director of the Partington Group. John Taylor, national community manager for the Cooperative Funeral Care. Well, ladies and gentlemen, as in every match, unfortunately, there always has to be a runner-up, and these two have given you a brilliant match. So please welcome up Alex Marshall, MBE. And ladies and gentlemen, your Cooperative Funeral Care International Open Champion 2015. It is the Ginger Ninja, Nikki Brett. Yes, Nicky Brett, uh, International Open Champion 2015, double champion, because he's also the Scottish International Open Champion as well. Uh, quite incredible, uh, amazing the way that he's actually played this week. It's absolutely fantastic. He's clearly a very happy man indeed. David Corkill, uh, commentator, is standing beside me just now. And uh, Corky, just let's reflect on how well Nicky has played and uh, as he comes up to speak to us. But I mean, how well has he been? He's been exceptional, there's no doubt about that. The Scottish Open, he was absolutely superb. But whenever you get to the stage of saying to yourself, I'm up against a six times world champion on a carpet that he's been in the final in the last two years, Nicky proved his medal by playing exceptionally well. Alex put a lot into this match, he contributed greatly, and there was so little between them, really. Nicky, come in and speak to us. Uh, you've got the trophy there. And uh, International Open champion 2015 and world number one. Um, quite pleased, to say the least. Absolutely. And listen, head over heels there. Nice, we'll love to see the cartwheel when you win things, when you're clearly very emotional. But if you can, just give us a sense of how much that means to you to pick up that trophy, your second trophy of this season. Yeah, in the last year, two years maybe, I've found a way to win when I've maybe not been playing sensational. Um, probably before that, I've found a way to lose when I've been playing pretty good. So... Yeah, I've just been been hanging around, playing pretty good, and you know when it's meant to be, it's meant to be. Obviously, you never know whether you're going to be world number one or anything like that. You just do as much as you can, as often as you can, and you know just pray it works. And it certainly has been working for you recently. I mean, what do you think? What do you put it down to? Because you've said you know in the past you know, you've managed even when you've been playing well, you've been losing games and you've scratched around and and won. But I mean, what, what do you put this this turnaround in form down to? Do you think? Not thinking about my bad bowls as much as I used to. I used to get quite frustrated and, you know, maybe lose focus on the next bowls what count, not the rubbish you just played. <laughs> and also beating Alex Marshall, the six-time world champion, who can, who's such a, a dominant figure in the, the World Bowls Tour. And he's won here before, obviously, and he was in the final last year. But to beat him as well and to go to world number one, it, I guess it puts the icing on the cake. Oh, yeah, unbelievable. I've, I've been fortunate enough to play well, if not the two best players in the world in all the finals I've played, you know, it's just what dreams are made of, really. When you win something, you always want to... You wouldn't want someone to say, oh, you, you didn't play anybody in the final. Well, all of my finals, they can't say that I haven't played the best when I've won something. So. And next time around, of course, you've got number one on your back and a target on your back. Everyone's looking to shoot you down now. Yeah, you could say there's only one way to go from here, really. But uh, again, I'll just be trying to do what I can. You know, you know, you, I'm on a bit, a little bit of a roll, I suppose, at the minute. As long as that continues, it will be great. If it don't, I'll have to battle hard and hold on to my top 16 spot if, if I can. 
Well, you were absolutely fantastic. Congratulations, the champion, International Open champion 2015. It has been an incredible week here in Blackpool. Alex Marshall beaten in a final, this fella, world number one and International Open champion. Well done to you. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.